Hello everyone, this is Delivery Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Firebase Authentication. I'll uh, we'll be talking firstly with the Google Sign-in Authentication from Firebase. Most apps need to know the identity of a user. Knowing a user's identity allows uh, the app to securely save user data in the cloud and provide the same personalized experience across all of the user's de devices. Firebase Authentication provides backend services easy to use SDKs and ready-made UI libraries to authenticate users to your app. It supports authentication, authentication of using password, popular federated identity providers like Google, Facebook, and Twitter, and more. All right, we'll be talking about the Google sign-in, which is a federated identity provider. All right, uh, uh, we're moving straight to the Firebase console, uh, whereby I have my project, uh, uh, Firebase database, you know, we would we'll actually be using this uh, uh, this uh, this uh, project uh, in the course of the tutorial from the beginning of our uh, GCM, which is the Google Cloud messaging. All right, now uh, we're going to create, you're going to add a new app on any project you have. You know, you create a new project and you add an app, you should be able to know how to add a, a Firebase application to a project at this stage. All right, after you might have done that, you're going to have a, a dash, uh, some cards like this, you know, of different application. All right, so this is actually for the uh, Firebase uh, email, which is the Google email sign-in. All right, uh, in your authori authorization, which is the authentication, okay, uh, you move to the sign-in method, which is very important, okay. In the authentication mode, you move to the signing method. Uh, you come over to this uh, portion where you have Google. You make sure you enable Google. You know, you have to enable it because we're going to do a Google signing. You know, when we're going to do the Facebook and Twitter and even GitHub, uh, we'll get to uh, instantiate those ones. But now we majorly looking at Google. So you have to enable this uh, particular aspect of this application. And also, you must uh, in your project settings. You must provide uh, the SHA key for this particular module. You know, you're actually going to get this through the package name of your uh, particular application, which is com.delarostudio.firebase uh, email authentication. Okay, now you have to actually include the certificate fingerprints, which is the SHA1 uh, fingerprints, uh, whereby you get from your console with the debugging stuff. You now, I've actually covered that in my previous tutorial on. Uh, on invites. Okay, uh, I'll be moving straight to my Android Studio, which is the development environment for this project, uh, whereby I'm going to take you on a high level round of how the application actually sits and how they are how they actually look. Okay, uh, I have my project uh, files, source files over here, where I have my app, my REST, my Java classes, and also the manifest. Now we'll be talking about the view.gradle, which is the module app session of the view.gradle. Okay, if you should notice this, uh, we have our Firebase and the dependencies. There is a Firebase authentication, uh, which is very important, 9.0.1, this particular uh, inclusion. Now we have the Google Sign-in SDK. This is only required for Google Sign-in, you know. This is for Google Sign-in, which is we have the google.android.gms. Play services, you know, the authentication 9.0.1. Afterwards, you're going to apply a plugin which is come to google.gms Google services. Okay, uh, that's very fine, which is going to sit in the model app. Now we're going to go to the Firebase, uh, the project, the build project. Okay, uh, we're going to include this part. They come to google.gms Google services 3.0.0. Okay. After you might have included this in your application, you're going to create a fresh a new application and you include those uh, dependencies and you go, you click on your synchronize. It's going to synchronize this and there must not be ever. As I've said earlier, you must uh, update your Google Play services and also your Google repository to the latest uh, uh, build so that you're going to have the Firebase uh, includes, inclu included in it. Okay, we'll be moving straight to our REST, which is the layout files. Let's look at the UI of the application. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, the linear layout. Okay, we, we, where we assign an ID called main layout. Okay, the layout with an ID is match parent. 
while the orientation is vertical all right that's fine now there is a linear layout right inside this where we have the center horizontal for its gravity and the orientation to its vertical okay afterwards we have the image view which is the firebase icon okay uh, we assign a google icon to this okay uh it's calling from the drawable or uh, firebase lock of 400 which is a png file okay we have a text view that actually carries google sign in as uh, as the as the text afterwards we have another text view with an id for status well the style is team overlay my text data detail the text on it is sign out which is for the sign out session okay uh we have uh, the user id okay which is actually calling from the firebase user id okay we have the relative layout after this linear layout right sitting in the parent linear layout okay uh this is actually calling the google.android.gms common signing button notice this tag uh is a signing button okay we have the layout with the night wrap content uh the visibility is is quite visible and when the visibility is in tools it's gone okay there's another linear layout that followed afterwards which is the sign out and disconnect you know this is just a sign out button okay uh the pattern left and right are 16 dps uh afterwards we have a button called the sign out button itself this is sign out and disconnect this one is sign out all right uh which has a text called sign out and it's called the theme from the style uh timo ballet my dark button while another button actually follows which is for the disconnect button Okay, these are doing different uh, uh, functionality. It has a text on the called disconnect. We have a closing linear layout and also it's closing relative layout with the parent uh, linear layout being closed right here. Okay, uh, let's see, maybe we can have a design view. Uh, if we can just have that uh, initialized and rendered. Okay, uh, we'll be moving ahead to our Java classes. We'll be talking about the main activity of this application. And also the big activity uh, of this application okay that's very cool can you notice this uh ui this is how the application actually is the firebase google sign in uh, authentication okay uh you have a sign out and also have a disconnect button okay that's fine let's move to our main activity of this application okay uh we actually imported a lot of stuff android gms auth api authentication uh the gms opt api signing google signing account the google signing options the signing result connection result google api clients result callback status on complete listener authentication credential authentication result firebase authentication firebase user and google authentication provider okay these are all uh, from the firebase and from the android gms come on and the android gms authentication libraries uh, we have the main activity that extends the base activity so we're going to create an, uh, a class called base activity whereby it implements the google api client calling on the on connection field listener and also on the view on click listener okay we created two two strings here uh two fields uh, for the google activity and for the r signing the tag and the r signing okay now we're going to start to declare the uh, authentication which is the firebase art we give it uh, a variable name called we declare it mart okay uh, we start to declare the authentication listener as well which is the firebase authentication only on the authentication state listener we give it m authentication listener okay uh we're going to declare the google api client m google api client the text view and status text view and the text view another text view for the detailed text view this time we have an uncreate method we call on the super uncreate set the instant state uh, we set the content view to the relative layout the activity on this google xml i mentioned earlier now we're going to cast in some stuff to them status text view and to the detail text view where we get the id status and for the detail now we have for the button listeners we find the view by id uh the sign in button we set an on click listener to this we do the same thing for the sign out body and also for the disconnect body as well now we're going to configure the google sign in over here uh, we're using the new Google sign in option. We might share to that uh, and also getting the default sign in. Uh, we're going to request the ID token and also request the email and we will build up. Okay, uh, for the M Google API client, uh, we're going to instantiate that too. 
uh, we call on the enable or to manage and add API and also build up. Okay, uh, we're going to start to initialize the authentication, the Firebase get its instance, and also the authentication state listener. We also do the same thing with that. Now we have a method called on auth, which is authentication state change. When there's a change, uh, okay, we call on the Firebase user and we get the current user as well. So if the user is not equal to null, that means the user is signed in. Okay, so we have to call on the on authentication state change uh, concatenated with the user, whereby we get the UID of the user. While else, if the user is signed out, you know, you get the on authentication state change, sign out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we have on start method where we're going to call on super on start based on the m out uh, variable we declared earlier we have the authentication state listener to it passing on m authentication listener after this parameter uh we have on stop just doing the same thing okay there's one uh, method we we'll look here which is on activity resort where we we'll pass in uh up to three parameters the request code the result code and the inside data okay Call on super on activity results passing these three, three parameters. So the result return from launching the internet from the Google sign in. Okay, if the request code is equal to the RC sign in, uh, the Google sign in result, we call on the authentication Google sign in API, we get the sign in result from the internet data that is going to run uh, if uh, the result return from launching the internet has been uh, actualized. Now we're going to call on the Firebase authentication with Google method you no know, we have the google sign in account class which is object act now the firebase with authentication with google we we have to concatenate it with the a double ct uh object we called over here and we get this id okay uh we're going to uh make up the credential which is the google authentication provider we get id token okay uh, when it's that shared with a new uncoupled listener to listen to this. So we're going to log this, which is the signing with credential uncoupled. We can concatenate it with a tax if it's successful. Okay. Uh, so we should have a uh, successful alert. Okay. Let's move on. So if the tax is successful, uh, we're going to, if it's, if the tax is, the, if not tax successful, uh, we're going to sign it with credential and with that, we get the exception. Okay. Uh, we have the sign-in method, uh, where we call on the intent, authentication Google sign-in API, we get the sign-in intent, passing the MGoogle API client as this parameter, so we start the activity for results. Uh, we have for the sign-out to, you know, this is just going to sign in out of the uh, of this process. Uh, we have the revoke access, uh, where it's going to actually sign out from Firebase, and also, Going to revoke the access from google okay now we're going to update the ui of uh of what she's going to see after the after the progress dialog might have been hidden so if the user is not equals to null uh the empty status text view where we declare it we're going to set the text now with the google user based on the user and get this email uh, account and the detail now we're going to also get going to get this uid okay else you know we're going to set the text to sign out and we're going to make this the detailed text this will be null. So now we're going to pick up the visibility of the sign-in button, and also we set the visibility of sign-out and disconnect. Okay. Now connection failed. There's the connection actually crashes. No, an unresolvable error has occurred, and Google API cannot be available. So you're going to log this to, to on the connection field. You can concatenate with the connection result. What happened? So mostly it's also always Google Play Services server. Now we have uh, the on click where we have the we're going to get the ID. There's a switch statement here. On the first case, it is a signing button. This go on to the sign in method. Break it out. If it's a sign out button, big click. Go on to the sign out method. If it's a disconnect button, big click. Please call on the book access method. All right, let's look at the base activity that was extended. Now this extends the app compress activity. Uh, this is where we have the progress dialog uh, when you're actually trying to sign in into uh, using the Google uh, credentials. Now we have the show progress dialog method whereby if the M progress dialog is null, uh, the M progress dialog will be we associated with the new keyword. We set this method loading and we set the term, in, the term 
in that indeterminate to trip. Now you're going to show the end progress dialog. We have the eye progress dialog if uh, the uh, it has been instantiated. So this guy is going to be hidden, and we're going to have the on destroy too. Well, we're going to add the progress dialog and we destroy the session. All right, uh, I've actually tested this on my Android device. I, tested, I actually used it on my Google Nexus, uh, my shallow Android 6. All right, you can also pick it up and test it on on the other uh, you know, latest uh, APIs, maybe on Lollipop or KitKat. Which, but make sure you uh, upgrade your Google Play services so that Firebase can be able to work effectively on it. So I'll be showing you a screenshot of how this application is. So these are the first bunch of the application we actually look like, whereby you put in your email and your password and you sign in into Google, with Google. Or you actually create an account, you know, you go through the account creation and also, you know, sign in with your Google email. Fine. Uh, thank you very, very much for listening and hope you actually understood one or two things. I'm going to upload the source code to my GitHub account. So you're going to pick it up from there use it in the course of the application so don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye